Hey everybody, Andrew here, and this is a video review of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Cyberverse Smokescreen. Here's a quick look at the back of the card featuring product shots of Smokescreen himself, along with a very brief description about Smokescreen. On the side of the card you'll find his technical data. So enough with the jibber jabbering about the box, let's open it up and check him out. And here he is, Cyberverse Legends Class Smokescreen in his awesome supercar mode. He also comes with a fantastic gun with a big old blade on the bottom of it. And not to mention he's got a ton of posts on this thing. So you have one here, you have one in the back, you have one in the bottom, and you've got another one on the side. So you can have him holding his weapon in car mode in all sorts of configurations, like this, or like this, and even like this, or not. Either way, I like this weapon that is solid better than these clear gummy ones that we got in previous Cyberverse waves. Overall, I really like the car mode. The overall design is very cool, very sporty. I love the graphics. The only thing I wished it had was more paint apps, and that's a common problem with Transformers these days. And with him, I wish he had a painted back window and taillights, to say the least. That would have really benefited the figure a whole lot. But otherwise, he looks very good. Here's a size comparison with Cyberverse Bumblebee. And as you can see, they're in very good scale with each other. Not to mention, they're both kind of short on paint apps. Okay, time to transform this little feller. And transformation, of course, as with many of these Legion class figures, is very simple. You just Pull down the back here to form the legs on this hinge here. Bring it around, separate, fold out the feetums. The legs are done. Next part is to untab and separate the doors to form the arms. And then bring this down. Bring his chest up a little bit there you go and then you're gonna swing this around bring it to the front and you're gonna twist and bring down to form the arms do the same thing on the other side bring it around twist and bring down and there you have your Cyberverse smokescreen in robot mode. One note about the transformation is that on the back here, there are these tiny little tabs. And if you bring this down and work with it a little bit, it will snap in place and hold these sections together much better. In general, the robot mode looks pretty good. I like his proportions. They're kind of goofy, especially at the feet, but otherwise they're pretty good. And again, it can use a few more paint apps, especially at the legs, but otherwise, it's all right. Here he is with Bumblebee, and as you can see, they scale very well with each other, which is something that I really like about the Cyberverse line. Posability on this guy is rather decent. Again, he is a Cyberverse figure, so you're not going to have any head movement on him or waist movement. Some of them might have it, but this guy doesn't. You're not going to have elbows or knees, but you do have shoulders. And you want to be careful with this hinge here, but it goes up, it goes down, it goes in and out. And his legs go forward and back, side and in, and he has ankle pivot per his transformation. So that's not too bad for a little guy like this. 
overall, the Cyberverse toys have been very good. I'm really impressed with these little guys, and Smokescreen here is no exception. He's pretty cool. And I know that he's a very popular character. He is one of my favorites in the show. So if you like him, and you want something small to tinker around with, other than the Deluxe, which is also awesome, this guy is definitely worth a pickup. I hope you enjoyed this video review. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. Okay, now you're just showing off.